I'm a woman of a certain age, and at this point, I don't have many firsts anymore. But this is absolutely a first for me. And I'm a bit overwhelmed, so just bear with me because this is a first, and it's a very, very exciting first. And it is an honor for me to be able to welcome you into this press conference and greet everyone here this afternoon. The first thing that I want to do, I'm going to tell you who I am. I'm Brenda Chun, and I am the president of the William Hooper Council High School Alumni Association. And the first thing that I'm sure all of us would like to do is to congratulate Mayor Battle on his tremendous victory last night. And so I say congratulations to you, Mayor Battle. That was a handsome, that's what you call a mandate, I think. And so we congratulate you on behalf of all of us in the William Hooper Council High School community. And then I want to say that this is the first day of a victory of that magnitude that the mayor had last night. And imagine all of the places that he could be today. I can think of some places that I might be, but he's here with us. He's standing on the grounds of the historic William Hooper Council High School. And I think by that statement alone, he is speaking volumes to our community. So we congratulate you, Mayor Battle, and we recognize and acknowledge that on the first day of your victory, you're with us here at William Hooper Council High School. So yes, let's give that an applause. That is applause worthy. And next, I would like to say to you that I stand here for many. And I just have to take a moment and say that. I am standing here for many. I am standing here for all of the children and the youth who walked through the hallowed halls of William Hooper Council High School. I'm standing here for all of the alums of William Hooper Council High School, the distinguished graduates. I'm standing here for the teachers and the staff of William Hooper Council High School. And I'm standing here for a community that trusted the experience of William Hooper Council High School. Our families sent us here every day for decades, believing in the experience that we would have here at William Hooper Council High School. And so there is a tremendous weight that I carry right now in assuming the task to represent this great effort. And I have to admit that any and every time that I enter the grounds of William Hooper Council High School, I don't come here when I am not overcome with a sense of awe. I am overcome by the challenges that we experienced in the Council High School experience, and I am overcome by the difficulties that we experienced in the Council High School experience. And you should know, I'm a member of the class of 1966. I was in the last class of William Hooper Council High School, and our motto was, to the stars through difficulty. You, re I, you hear that? To the stars through difficulty. And I'm struck by the fact that Alabama, that Huntsville is the star of the state, and that difficulties are the challenges of our lives that we overcome. And at this point, 
the William Hooper Council High School in its preservation and restoration effort must be a beacon to the entire community about how we overcome and how we are community together, facing our challenges and overcoming our challenges. And as president of the Alumni Association and as a citizen of this community, it is my resolve to work towards those ends in our preservation effort. And so you can, you can tell I'm full of excitement, but this is not my press conference, and I think I'd better, <laughs> I'd better exit stage and give it to the person who can really lead us through this experience. And that's our awesome and re-elected mayor, whom I'm very pleased to bring before you now to share the official plans for the city of Huntsville. Help me welcome Mayor Tommy Battle. Here, we taught the value of education and sustained belief that lives could be better. I'm grateful to Mrs. Chun and the William Hooper Council High School alumni and all of y'all out there are part of that alumni. I'm grateful to you for your vision in this project and where you want to go with it. We have a good plan and we've dealt with the challenges head on and I think we've got through the challenges and obstacles and we are ready. Years from now, people will be coming here on this beautiful setting. Remember Dr. Council and the hundreds of African American teachers and students who taught here and the lives that were changed and how our city was transformed. It's an honor for the city of Huntsville to join the Alumni Association and support this effort. And we invite our partners in Madison County and the state of Alabama to do likewise, because this will be a partnership to make this happen. We estimate that it's gonna cost about $8 million to complete this renovation, and we need to pool our resources to make it happen. The city will have portions in it, the Alumni Associations will have portions in it, Hopefully the county will have portions in it and the state of Alabama. At this, at this time, the work you see is in the difficult process, if you look behind you, the difficult process of removing asbestos and hazardous material, and the city is taking down the structurally unsafe portions of the old building that can no longer be preserved and stabilizing the portions of the building that can be renovated. We'd like to recognize Fuquay Architects. Guys, thank y'all so much for your work on this because they've worked on the council with the council high alumni and provided them with a beautiful plan and the plans that you see here. And the site is also, it needs to be recognized that this site is also not far from Dr. Joseph Lowry Boulevard, named after one of Huntsville's civil rights leaders. And it's right next door to our public library, the symbolic heart of learning for our city. So we are very glad today that we can start on the long process and it is a process to move forward and to start with the process of rebuilding this campus. It's going to take a lot of pooled resources. and We're all gonna to have to work together to make sure that we can make it happen. But I think that uh, with the start that we have here, that we can, in years from now, we'll be sitting here, we'll be looking at a beautiful site, something that replicates an era, era that has gone by, but something that also replicates the history of what we have today. So thank y'all so much for coming out. And now I'd like to turn over to our councilman, and this is Councilman Dr. Richard Showers. If you wanna talk about somebody who has been at the forefront of this uh, push forever, every meeting we have, he asks, what about Council High? What about Council High? And he has made sure that we have the push to keep on moving on the, through this process and it's got us to where we are today, which is the very start of it. Councilman Showers, please come forward. Thank you. Uh, this administration did not just talk about uh, the need for the moving in this direction, but money was put on the table uh, in a marvelous way by this mayor uh, and council that we will be at this point today. Uh, the environmentals have already been finished and done. We got the okay now. Uh, to move forward with the retooling of this historical site. I want you to turn to your rear. There's a marker. If you see out near the street there, St. Clair, the historical marker. Uh, it was on the our watch uh, that the council and the uh, committee that does the historical marking uh, put that marker there. 
and we are just so delighted that the Dr. Council, in his marvelous way, a slave, a former president of Alabama a &M University, I saw the opportunity for education for all children, and certainly here at Council High, uh, I even worked here myself at the closing of this uh, facility. So we want to say thank you to all of you who are out here, uh, that are alums of Council High School. This gives you now an opportunity to share in helping us to fund the ultimate goal of putting Council back a way that we can all be proud. One of the alums, historically, will be honored on the 14th of September. Dr. Lowry uh, will be uh, honored. Uh, we've had a ribbon cutting, but we're going to have uh, a dedication on September the 14th. We look forward to having all of you out here uh, at that particular time to honor him, who was a former alum of Council High School. Thank you so very much. Well, I want to say thank you to Mayor Battle and Councilman Showers. They have are the bulwarks in pulling this project forward and helping us see it through to completion. And I'd just like to take an opportunity to say that the Council High School this year celebrated 50 years since the school was closed. And uh, we saw fit to have an all-school reunion. So about a week ago, we uh, came together over 300 alums at the Marriott at Tranquility Base, and we just had a wonderful, wonderful celebration. And we were also able to begin the fundraising effort, alerting the community, alerting the alums, our friends, that this is a time for us to invest in and to pour into what will be the William Hooper Council High School uh, preserved, uh, adapted for new use, and um, remodeled. Those fundraising efforts will continue from here, and so I want to alert all of the alums here. We've got a lot of work to do. We have a lot of work to do, and the community at large that we are absolutely committed to seeing this project through to completion. We are, are extremely proud of the support that we have garnered, and we look forward to everyone pouring in to what I envision as a beacon, uh, not just in the African American community, but in the entire city and state because the values, the ideals, the hopes, the dreams of William Hooper Council High School are no less than those of every single person in our city, state, and nation. And that's what we want to bring to life. How we come together, how we overcome. And in my vision, William Hooper Council High School is a beacon and can continue to be a beacon of just those values in a great community. So I thank you, thank you Mayor Battle again for this wonderful sharing and this wonderful experience. And Councilman Showers, we thank you. We uh, stand with you as you go through the next few months and we know that we have a friend uh, in Councilman Showers and I thank everyone that came out. I think the alums are they are hearing the call and they are responding and I absolutely do appreciate it because it takes all of us with our shoulders to the grindstone.